All right, everyone. Welcome back. Doing some crappie fishing today out on Lake of the Ozarks. And I got a tip for you on how to find massive schools of fish. It's super easy. So stay tuned. I'm going to get into that. We're going to catch some fish and I'm going to have a good day. All right, y'all. Like I was saying, if you can see this, there's a giant log here in the middle of this cove. There's no docks. There's no brush piles. There's a few laydowns, but they're real shallow. So, not really what we're looking for. And if you come over here, I'll show you the live scope. There's just a ton of crappie on it. I mean, a, it's a 20 foot long ball of crappie. Let me see if I can clean this image up. It's a 20 foot long ball of crappie, about 10 foot deep. Just huge. And the reason that they're here in such big numbers is because this is an isolated piece of cover. There's nothing else for them to get on in this cove. And you can apply this to docks as well. I could show you an example of, of finding them on a dock like this. Like that dock right over there, I went by it. I mean, there has to be what? How many fish do you think are under that dock? 200. 200? Maybe 2,000 under one dock. And you know, you can you can idle past maybe 20 docks and not see a single fish because there's 20 docks five feet away from each other. But if you get on that isolated cover, you're gonna find some big balls of fish. So we're gonna drop our lines down there. She's already getting hers in. We're gonna try to catch a few. There he is. Told you. Just gotta throw it down there the right way. The little one. See, he'll bite that color too. I don't want a bigger one than that. Seems like they're mostly on that left side. Did it again. You're probably gonna do it too. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Crappy. Looks like a better one. Yeah, that's a better crap. That's a better crappie. That's a keeper. He'll eat. He'll eat. I let that sink down lower too. So the ow, ow, ow. There it is. Middle of December. 40 degree water temperature is about 38 when we got out here. And we'll catch a lot more of those guys. There he is. There he is. Fish are ice cold. There he is. Little baby. Little baby. 
Right on that isolated cover. I mean, he's little, but there's big ones down there. I probably caught 15 of them before I turned the camera on. Don't you think? 15, aka 5. Big one. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, the wind blew us right over top of this uh, tree here, and we spooked all the fish. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go find some isolated docks and show you the schools of fish you can find under. I'm gonna go try to find some more isolated uh, cover. I don't really like fishing docks unless they're out in front of them or something. But if I gotta shoot docks, I don't really prefer it because i'm not good at it so i'll get on the side scan and show you some fish that are piled up on docks and i'll uh go find some more isolated cover some trees or something to fish nice <laughs> good job Another one. <laughs> that little. Better. It better. But a better one. Not really a big one. A keeper. Barely. Barely a keeper, but we're getting into them now. Here's the school of fish we're fishing right now. In the back of this cove. I mean, it's absolutely massive. They're just stacked all in the back of this cove. I imagine they're probably a little less pressured than uh, the fish we were fishing because we're getting a lot more bites a lot quicker. Oh, Begging. Nope. Hey, maybe you just fell. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Simple as that. Oh, oh, I just had him. <laughs> oh, God. Got all tangled up here. Nice. That a good one. Yeah, that a good one. That a nice one. <laughs> You're catching them. I ain't catching nothing. What am I doing wrong? Are we keeping them? If you want, that's a good one to keep. Yeah, you showed a camera? Nice, good job. So it's as simple as that. So one thing to pay attention to, I know the sun is kind of tucked behind these clouds right now, but we've been finding all day these big docks that are providing a lot of shade. Like when the sun's shining, the shade comes out you know 50 foot from the dock and they're just piled up in all this shade here uh and i mean you can see that live scope right there there's just tons of fish all through here and there's even some tucked back back there in the cove i mean just tons of fish back here absolute giant schools and uh they're definitely relating to shade for sure Nice one, huh? He's <laughs> fighting. So hard. <laughs> oh. Show the fish. There's the fish. There's the school of them. 
I mean, just piled up. Piled up. I mean, that school is probably 40 feet wide, like that, and what, 20 feet deep? Not too deep either. Giant school of them. And they're biting. We've been finding big schools of them like this, but some of them just don't bite. So you just move on and find the next one. And pay attention to where you're finding those fish and what they're relating to. Because a lot of these fish are relating to a shade. To the shaded side of these big docks. So that's what we're looking for. I just had to bite. Alright y'all, so we're having a real tough bite out here. We're fishing this big school. Big school of fish right here and it's super finicky. So what I do when it's a super finicky bite, for one, I put on a smaller jig. For two, you slow your retrieve down. Uh, and three, go to real natural colors. I don't know if you can tell, but this water, if you can see my jig down there, this water is super clear. And uh, just really calm conditions. So you want to put on natural colors. And when the water is clear like this, I like to do translucent colors. You can kind of see through them. She's got on a more translucent bait than I do, and she's catching them more than I am. And then lastly, you want to put some scent on there. That really helps bring them in. Because you'll notice that they'll swim up and follow the jig up, and then they'll just leave it. But if you put some scent on there, once they follow it up and get close, that might seal the deal and they'll bite it. Look at that. She hooked up. Looks like a good one, huh? Pretty good keeper. No, he's little. <laughs> <laughs> We're having to weed through a lot of little ones in this school. What? Changed up colors. Now let's check. Put a little scent on that joker. I think those are bluegill over there. Oops, that was a little aggressive. Right away, look at that. Right away. He's a little one, but fish is a fish. Change color and put scent on there instantly. Change color to what? Uh, just a little more natural uh, black. The black one. See that? I ain't making it up, stuff works. <laughs>